Thompson, world champion, takes down the field at three. 1080. Just my word to the family. I know it's been hard, but do it all, man. I promise we gon' go. Sakari, right? Sakari Richardson. They, they say that it's Shakari. They said it's Shakari. Shakari. <laughs> but I, I really think that it's Sakari. I really I'm do gonna think say that her mama Richardson. named her Sakari, bro. But I don't see Shakari. <laughs> it might be, but I don't know. I'm still gonna call her Shakari. Well, I'm just going to start calling her Miss Richardson. You know what I mean? So she <laughs> she recently won the hundreds in the women's uh, at the Profound Classic uh, last yeah. week. Um, it seemed clearly like 30 seconds, 30 meters in that she was going to dominate. She was in the fifth lane, so she was in the middle. Uh, she was surrounded by a lot of a lot of talents. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good racers and stuff like that. So <laughs> she ended up winning the race. She put up a 10-8, 10-8-3 in, in a, uh, the women's 100 meters. Uh, second was 10-9. Uh, Julie Alfred, you know what I mean, came in second. Uh, it was a great race. And like I said, last year when we talked about Shikari, it seemed like she got that catch-up speed. I mean, everybody started off the block good. It seemed like she has that speed that she can outwalk you after a while, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? So, you know, yeah. she ended up winning by a good 10 seconds. So, uh, what's your thoughts on uh, Richardson win? Do you think that like, she's on her push. She's trying to get into the Olympics this year. You know what I mean? And she looks good so far. She had a couple of races. Yeah, I think it was in Japan or somewhere. She didn't look too good. Um, blah, blah, blah. I don't think she really cared too much for that. But she looking good. She might I have think been she, gas, go she was blowing that gas. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving them in the dust. <laughs> yeah, so, like. You're right. She need, to, so she, need to lead it. she need to put the weed down, man. Hey, I, actually, I think she's been doing it. She looked really good, man. I'm, like, proud of all the stuff she's been through, all the stuff they were yeah. saying to her and stuff like that. I'm really proud of her. And she's just – she's the future of track and field, man. Like, you know, she's going to break a lot more records. So what, what's y'all's thoughts? I think yeah, she's going to go down as one of the greatest. Okay, when yeah. it's all said and done, what about you, Nicole? I mean – I think she's very talented. I hope she does make it in the Olympics. I mean, she's like, she's kind of like, um, what is she? She's kind of like the the uh, what what a sexy red of like Olympics or something. You know what I mean? No, like, that's a bad way comparison. Way oh. sexy red. Get out of here. That's a bad comparison. <laughs> yeah, that's no, that's that's that's, too, about, like, that's way that's way too much of a bad comparison. Like no, you, no, you I'm basically about, like, like, her game, no, bro. No, talking no, about some I'm sexy red. I'm talking about her style. I'm not. Man. <laughs> okay, the style. Okay, okay, her style. Like the nails, like the nails, the hair, the tattoos. Uh, man, like... why gotta be sexy red? Why can't it be somebody else? Like, why gotta be gorilla, compared to her? Gorilla, gorilla. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah. I'll say Glorilla. You know what I'm saying? Let's say Glorilla. I'm just saying, I'm just saying in comparison to what we've seen in the past. Like nobody else um, has had that image. So I do, I am cheering for her. You know, I hope she does make it. I think she's uh, extremely talented. And she comes from a, a really like humble beginnings. Like her her story yeah. is like very humble. So I'm definitely like mm -hmm. cheering for her. I think she's very talented. As long as she stay focused, I think she can accomplish anything she wants to do. But yeah, like her yeah, her style, her style is uh is not like anything we've seen before in the Olympics. Yeah. yeah. Right. And that's why yeah. people don't like her. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, you I, know, I, the, um, I, would say, I, I would just say if she if she is looking for like endorsements or like branding or whatever, like that's something black people, whenever we are naturally gifted, we have to think long term. You know what I'm saying? Like not to say that. OK, you got to be somebody that you're not. But like if you want endorsements, you know what I'm saying? Like if, if you if you want a Nike deal, a Reebok deal, whatever deal you want, you got to you got to think about that because you, you don't want to have more fame than you have money. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I think she I think she is, you know, because remember last year's last year, she, you know, she was always wearing those wigs. And stuff like that, man. I think people were trying to give her this ghetto image and stuff like that. You've noticed when you watch the race, she didn't have that on. I'm not just, you know, you know, uh, using their hair as, you know, you know, but that's, I feel like that's something that they were trying to, you know, you know, uh, stereotype her about, you know what I mean? So she came out. 
I mean, she looked really good. She looked like she was ready for this race. And also, like, uh, one of the defending champs, uh, Jamaican star Elaine Thompson, uh, she was the defending gold medalist in both the 100 and 200. She ended up fin finishing last, running 1130. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, that that right there, that that shocked me. You know, I thought that she would, you know, give um, Richardson a run for the money. She ended up coming last. You know, I'm like, ooh. You know what I mean? So, you know, but um, I think that, you know, um, Richardson will end up getting deals, you know, especially if she make the Olympics, you know, stuff like that. It's like at this point, hey, give it to her. She's proven, you know, that she can do it. She changed her over image. Over and over again. Yeah, over, over and over. Can't nobody beat her. Now, well, now what y'all got? The hate on How can y'all hate on her now? You can't give her what she get her credit when it's due. Can it's due now? Flower, her endorsement. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We're Let's see. Mo, Mo is back again. Let's see. He got his headphones on. Let's see if they help help him out. <laughs> Mo, oh, better. What's up, baby? Can you hear us? <laughs> and I had to change the location. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Ain't nothing going to fix that Android problem, brother. <laughs> he is hilarious. Can you hear me All right, now? Well, hey, but any last thoughts on that before we move on? We're going to take a quick break. No, nah, no. Nah, I just want to say, you man... Ahead, I, I ahead, just want to say, like, like you can get a deal, right? But everybody wants to get paid what they think they're worth. So, so look at, um, okay, so look at Monique. Monique got offered a Netflix deal, but it wasn't what she wanted. And Gary Owen, the white comedian, has never been offered a Netflix deal at all. So you got to think, like, okay, yeah, they can start offering her endorsements. But you don't want somebody to lowball. You want somebody like, you know, actually give you some coins because you still got to, everybody else got to eat. So after you pay everybody yeah. that needs to get paid, what are you going to have left? You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I think yeah. that like, because a lot of times mm -hmm. like people don't understand that they don't just represent themselves. Like you represent the United States or you represent, you mm -hmm. know, black women or, you know, like you're, you don't just represent yourself, you know? So it's like, yeah. what what image are you putting out there? And that's based on what people are going to pay you. Like uh, Monique, they only offered her like $500,000 or her Netflix deal. But everybody else was getting millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? So like an employer can offer you whatever they want. And you as the employee can decide if you, you want to take it or not. And you can't make somebody pay you what they don't want to pay you. Yeah, right, right. Sometimes you got to right. take what you, you know, especially in those situations, an employer, you got to take what they offer, you know what I mean? Um, but it's certainly, I mean, you know, if you're worth more, then you need to go after the jobs that's going to pay you what you want, you know what I'm saying? So, but I, I think Miss Richardson is going to get end up getting those deals. And like I said, her image she's portraying, it, it seems better than last year. It seems like she's doing the right thing. It seems like she's got the right people in her corner guiding her. So I think she's due her coins that she did you know that she deserved so we'll see um yeah. we're gonna keep a um keep an eye on her thank you for watching out the pocket sports with the truth nta slash please like and subscribe leave a comment and share the video it's my word to the family i know it's been hard but do it all man i promise we gonna